Righty our YouTubers, I just like to welcome you back to another Wise Choice Systems video. Uh, this time it is in fact a review on the Aerocool 6 Element White Edition. Uh, as you can see that's the front of the box there. It's not an unboxing because technically it's already been pulled out of the box because I don't see the point in video videoing that part. Now when you do pull it out of the box you obviously get a video, I mean you get a booklet and uh, we'll see if we can video what's in this booklet. So it shows you, you know, all the standard stuff, it comes with filters and all the parts that it comes with and we'll see if we can do like a flick video, ooh look at that, and there you go, so it shows you everything that it comes with and uh, how to use cable ties, there you go guys, yeah look at that, see, so just in case you didn't know how to use a cable tie or even how to join a cable tie so that you can tie something together there I don't quite know what you would be doing there but anyway so there you go it even shows you how to use cable ties um, and it just keeps going through on sort of where things should go and shouldn't go and everything like that pretty standard stuff okay now we'll start with the top here obviously you've got your eSATA USB USB headphone mic it's uh, got a power and a HDD LED and this little triangle here is your reset and then that's your power button now it is actually pointed at the top so this does come up into a point obviously uh, so we'll show it. it's got a nice little sixth element I actually like that it's quite neat it's at the back it's it's not protruding or anything like that it is actually quite nice there and then obviously this here is your rear exhaust um, so if you're looking from the front you can't see it if you're looking from the back and you were level that's all you would see um, so and then just in there uh, there is a fan in there now we'll go down a little bit here we go so obviously this is where your backing plate would go for your motherboard um, you can mount uh, you have to mount a fan on the back here yourself as you can see it does have two different sizes so it's 120 140 is the size that you can mount on the back here it's your option uh, you do have a water cooling um, holes there so if you want to run some hoses out for your radiator and stuff like that and obviously it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, and it comes with seven bays, seven PCI bays and obviously a bottom mount um, PSU slot and there is a filter which just pulls out like that and slides back in so it's all quite easy um, so now this is the side of it probably should do the front first but we'll do the side just because I can um, as you can see this is um, actual perspex um, and then that there is vented so that's not vented I actually would have liked to have seen that vented I thought that would have been quite cool but instead it's obviously perspex perspex here you can mount your fan so you can go 140 140 or you can go 120 120 depending on what you want to go but you, obviously you can't mount a 200 um, we'll move around to the front it is a door now this is the front again You'll have to excuse all the boxes that I'm recording in the background. I have quite a few builds that have to go out and stuff like that. So um, it also does come out to a point. So it follows the, the flow of the top and everything like that. You got your six element logo there. And then just here, you got your aero cool. Um, and then obviously this here is your exhaust for your front and that's the door. So it just opens up, nicely swings. Um, there's some more ventilation three bays and then if you wanted to run like a, a three-quarter floppy you could or, or or even if you wanted to run say a card reader uh, obviously that will be coming out and that's where the blu-ray reader will be going um, and I think you might be able to see just in there and you can see the fan that's in there so I'll show you the specs on the box obviously this is the only good thing about about a box um, it does in fact show you the specs we'll see if we can get to that so as usual on the box it's got the specs so um, it supports four by five quarter inch bays, pretty standard stuff, easy install screwless kits, uh, and it, you can install two by 12 fans at the side and one by 12 or one by 14 at the at the top, or you can run a one by 14 at the top or, or side, um, and it comes with the option to water cool. So pretty standard stuff. Uh, we'll have a look inside the actual case now so I'll just rotate around now it is a slide panel so obviously this is the only thing here you'll notice that there's actually nothing to grab like I like the ones where, where like a lot of anti-casing like that they have like a little 
flip there so you can just sort of get behind it and just grab it but this one doesn't actually have that so as you can see it's quite annoying to get to I mean I could probably just do it the double-handed slide but obviously when I'm holding a camera it's quite tough now here we go so up in there uh, you do have the uh, aero cool shark fan I wonder if we can get it I don't think I have enough light in here and it's yeah now you can see the aero cool that's about it um, and up there uh, that's the bay for obviously well, I don't think I don't think you guys can actually see in there um, anyway there's a bay up in there for um for which is the top base so in case you wanted to run like a uh card reader or something like that and that's pretty much generally what they recommend there um cables are all pretty standard you know your eSATA uh, usb your hd audio your connectors and then that there i am presuming is the front fan now as usual down here you get your accessory box we might have a look at that later and look at that they even give you the screws see that guys they've actually got it mounted in here so that it actually anyway you don't need to worry about that um, and then obviously this is your drive bay as you can see here you can actually mount a SSD on that but this is the most interesting thing that I found is that you can in fact I'll see if I can get you pull these two levers here and okay it's not quite that easy one-handed that comes out so let's just say for example you wanted to fit some really big cards in there um, obviously this one here is in fact mounted so that's generally where your hard drives would go no matter what and you could take this option out here and you could run some nice and you can take this option out here sorry um, and you could run some nice big cards and obviously the cooling is going to run through uh, I do like the um, I would have liked to have seen one of these a little bit higher. Obviously, it is a medium tower, so you, you can't really expect too much. And the way this is designed, it is designed, as you can see, by the way that the the, the quick releases here, the, the toolless options, are that this is actually where um, the optical drivers are meant to be, not at the top. So it's designed to have like a card reader or or even a um, fan controller or something like that in there. Um, Apart from that, everything else is you know pretty standard. It's got a nice large cutout for um, if you want to install a, a CPU cooler. Um, not 100% sure what this hole here is, but you know you could probably squeeze some cables in there. Um, I normally run some up in through here anyway. <laughs> so and obviously you got your power here. So all in all, it's not too bad. Look, it's got like a um, actually I might we'll quickly take off the other side. And we'll see if we can uh, it's obviously just got you know some nice as comes standard most of these days they're plastic covered um thumb screws so that that way they get nice grab and i like them better than the metal ones so we'll see if we can this one here there we go these are quite tough to get off and this one doesn't want to come off oh there we go okay now we'll see what cable is tight now as you can see here um, there's not really a great deal you've got cable tie options here running down um, and pretty much here there isn't really too much cable tying options anywhere else but you do have quite a fair gap like do you know what I mean like I can there is there is a massive gap between here and here um, so you, you can you can sneakily run you know like for example um, if you had a cable long enough or if you ran an extension you could you could probably get away with because there is a hole just up here I don't know if you can see there's a hole here so what you could do and there is a bit of a gap beside the fan here so with your ATX you can actually get it up in there run it beside your fan get it in there plug it into your board and you can you, know, you might be able to sneak it around here around in here or or anything like that now this is also indented so you can get your cables in there because a lot of the time this is flat and then you get it all nice and neat and then you put your cover on and it's got that little bit of a bubble to it and it gets rather annoying so you got to take it all back out and manage your thing so I do like the fact that that's there because obviously that's where a lot of your cables are going to go um, generally if you squeeze up in here which is pretty much I'm pretty much telling you how I'm going to cable tie this, how I'm going to cable manage this I pretty much run the Mobo and all those um, front panel connectors and everything like that will come through this hole 
out here, down here, and then either the audio will probably come up through here. Uh, USB will, will generally come on this side, and then obviously your power will generally come on that side. So all in all, I don't think it's too bad a board. There's plenty of room in there. Um, it looks like the fan, if you wanted to change it, would actually be quite easy. It looks like it might just slide out from the other side, but we'll go take a look at that. Okay, maybe not. It looks like it comes out from the front, sorry guys. So it does mean that you would have to take the front bezel off, which doesn't look too hard. Um, it looks like the front bezel just comes off by obviously squeezing those, pushes out and comes off. And then that'll allow you to get the fan because it looks like the fan just sort of slides into its own little cradle. All right, guys, so that there is, um, actually, here, look at this. We'll quickly go through this, if we can. So this is the accessories box. Um, as you can see here, um, sorry, guys, just give me two secs to try and open this. Right, there we go. So now, in the accessory box, sorry, guys, I'm just going to take you on a bit of a journey. All right, here we go. What do we got here? We've got, they're the two, um, Wow, this camera's a bit odd actually. They're the two sliders that come with it. And there we go. You get the rest of your panel. You just get all it comes with is the rest of the sliders, cable ties, um, and pretty standard motherboard screws. Um, sorry guys, the lighting in here is pretty ordinary. I might just there we go. Um, so yeah, so basically it comes with all your sliders, screws, cable ties. Um, there's other stuff in there that I can't seem to get out. Oh, look at that. It even comes with a locking. So in case you, you know, want to lock your option. What else is in here? There's something else in here. Oh, here we go. Um, and this is that giant holder thing that they were showing off before and then there's your speaker your internal speaker so there you go guys that's um <laughs> that is a bit of a quick review of the Aerocool six element wide edition we will be building in this uh, so expect that video up pretty soon okay guys uh, just finishing this video you'll notice that uh, I did actually start building I got ready to work out where all my cables were going as you can see uh, I've taken the front panel off um, and that is how you get that fan out so obviously you can only it is flush in there so you can only fit uh, the 140 in there I believe you might be able to drop it down to a 120 but I don't know why you would um, but there is something else that I noticed now I'm gonna I don't know if you're gonna see this or you might just but up in here are two screws and normally you take those two screws off and this plastic bit can lift off well with this one here I'll point out the screws holes there's, there's one here these two at the back and then there is two under here one there and one there and then two on the side over here one here and one here and then what happens is you can actually take sorry that whole top section now obviously my cables are a bit caught there we go take the whole top section off look at that now I am actually a big fan of this because it means that I can pretty much do what I want with my cabling so I do like that and so there you go I don't think there's anything else to cover I haven't been able to find any other screws or anything like that um, everything else I thought maybe they might have allowed the um, the motherboard tray to come out but it is all so in there so it does look like it's only the top that can come out and uh, yeah so that is the full review of the <coughs> Aerocore 6th Element White Edition <laughs>